Hi everyone, welcome back to a Jelly Brand Rail video. Um, this is a recent one I filmed uh, during August in 2022. Um, just exploring a abandoned and mostly ripped up rail line in uh, within the city of Ballarat. Um, I'm not actually sure what this rail line is used for. And as you know, with most of my other videos, I do a bit of research um, and dig up some history on the train line um, and do advise as much as I can about the train line before posting the video. But I thought I'll do this one a little bit differently um, and not do any research at all. Partially to me being lazy, but I think more so, I just think it would be a bit exciting for people to uh, maybe comment below what, what they know about the train line. Uh, yeah, if they know anything, what it was used for. So I noticed this um, originally just from looking at maps, I noticed there was a bit of a, a sort of curve in the road structure in the way the urban planning was and assumed that it must have been some sort of rail line at some point in the past, especially knowing that it curves around from the main line, uh, the Ballarat to Melbourne main line. Um, so I ventured out there and um, did notice it definitely was a former rail line and could also see some remnants of rail as well. Um, but the first time I had ventured out there, I didn't actually film anything. So I've gone back um, over a period of two days and um, filmed me walking along this train line and just um, noticing uh, all the remnants that are still there, which isn't many actually. A lot of it has been ripped up, but most of this train line is now a bike path. And I'm not sure where it actually originally ended either. Um, but so I start this journey um, on a street called Spencer Street in um, Ballarat or in the suburb of Canadian. And I was able to walk all the way up to about York Street before it ends. Um, oh no, actually Wilson Street. And then it comes to an end. And then I continue the trip the next day. I make my way all the way up to the other, other end. And I started the train line um, where it had branched off from the Melbourne and Ballarat corridor. And then I've walked all the way down to Eureka Stockade from there. Um, so yeah, join me um, as I do this walk. Um, with the audio as well, um, there was a really windy and um, the wind audio is a really a, quite a bit annoying actually. So I hope that doesn't bother you. I'll try and fix that as much as I can before I upload it. Okay, this is the start of the walking trail. So it used to be the train line. I don't know where it goes after this. It seems to end at that house. There is another walking trail up there, but that's definitely not the train line. This is what we have left. So this line joins up to the main line past Victoria Street in Ballarat and the, on the still operational line from Ballarat to Melbourne. Now there's horses. We're currently in a suburb in Ballarat called Canadian, which is a lot of it's a new housing estate. Some of it's still quite bushy with big blocks of land. And down here we have some ducks. So let's see if we can find any more remnants of the rail line. Does anyone want to go tunneling? This one's closed off. Maybe if this line was still in operation, it'd be a nice chance to have a station out here because the population of this area is growing quite dramatically actually. Um, pretty much any spare block of land out here does get snapped up quite quickly. And it could definitely be a useful service. Now coming up here, we have the pedestrian bridge. So this is obviously not the bridge that was in place when the trains were in operation, but you do have the remnant. There's an old 
pillar. And there's another one down there as well, actually. Um, so that is to support our bridge. And then just up here, there's a branch off line. So, um, I think that just comes to an end there, I would believe. But this walking trail up here, this is heading out um, east. I don't think that was a rail line as well. I think it's just a, a path. Um, but anyway, my research after I've filmed this video will confirm that. We're going to continue up here where the former train line used to be. And I can also see from here, it does come to an end. So I'll find a way around that as well. So now, um, as we head further up north, we can see that um, the rail line, a lot of it has actually been built over with um, housing estate as well. So I've come to a dead end and I'll try and find this section where it starts up again. So I won't film walking through the housing estate because there'll be nothing there but houses. So I've taken a bit of a detour from the main track because um, I thought I'll come back um, to the main track with my bicycle because it was getting a bit too far to walk. Um, and I've just come across this um, something in there. It looks like some old rail remnants. I'm not sure what that is. I can't get in there because it's private property. But it's off this track that does join back to where I was, actually. I can't imagine this having been a rail line itself, so I'm not sure. But we'll do a bit of investigation. And it joins back up through that part. This is heading um, west, towards back towards Ballarat City. Oh, if anyone wants to go tunnelling, uh, there's another one here. This one's not watered up. I wouldn't recommend it. This one does get a lot of water though. Um, and it is quite a dangerous thing. So, a uh, disclaimer, don't go tunnelling. But there's a tunnel here. At the corner. Hey, so it is actually the next day now, or a couple of days later. And I've returned to complete the journey of walking this train line. Um, I've gone the other end, so I've gone right to the very start of the line where it branches off from the Ballarat to Melbourne line. Um, and you can see here the slight incline that comes up. And that's where, that's where it curves around and becomes the new walking path. So walk up here. So that's the, the Ballarat line heading back towards Melbourne. And this is where the old line would have branched off. So I'm not sure exactly from here where it, the alignment of it was. There's a bit of a creek there, so maybe that was it. Or maybe it went straight up to this bike path. Let's see if we can find some remnants. Okay, so now I'm back on the path, the bike path. Heading, and now we go through a little tunnel which goes under Victoria Street, um, which was one of the main roads in Ballarat, leads back to Melbourne. Oh, there's a bit of a lake. Um, and speaking of, yeah, lately, so this, I'm filming this in August 2022. Um, so up here is definitely where the alignment of the track would be. I would assume that this bike path is pretty much exactly where the, the train line used to be from this point on. Now as we're heading into the tunnel, um, it's a little head, head staircase that goes up to the road. This is uh, this bridge we're going under now is just for pedestrians. And the next main tunnel part is the main road. So this road that we're going under, it's two lanes in each direction. Um, and there's a big medium strip in the middle as well. Um, so I'm assuming from what we have here, it is um, the pedestrian access on the other side is also um, part of this tunnel. 
So some pretty interesting graffiti. Let's stop and have a look for a little bit. I'm not normally into graffiti that much, but it is actually quite nice walking through this tunnel. All the colors. Oh, actually I was wrong. So there is a separate bridge for the pedestrians on this side, which is up there. Let's just have a look back at the tunnel we just came through. So yeah, it's the second time I've been through that. The other time I went through was also flooded a bit as well. Um, and cyclists use this path quite a lot actually. So you have a lot of cyclists coming in from the suburbs of Ballarat right along here to the station. So that'll probably be anyone coming from the Golden Point area or Cardigan, no not Cardigan, the Golden Point or Ballarat East or um, Eureka area. And actually no, it is Cardigan is out this way. So a quick look back at the tunnel that we came from. The pathway for pedestrians up to the roads. Got here a bit of a driveway or pathway going up there. Let's continue on. I won't film this whole trip, but I think the next maybe kilometer just looks like this. There's not much changes to the scenery. Um, but again, we are walking along the old train line and there's a bit of a catchment area for water on the right hand side. We are now heading southbound. There's a bit of an incline here. That's where we've come from. And this is where we're going. And there's a bit of a rail bridge here actually, I remember from last time. So I might go down and have a look at that too. Don't mind the noise. Um, in the background there's some machinery work going on over there. Some roadworks. Um, so down here, yeah, there's a drain, which is one of the catchment areas. Ballarat and there's a bridge going over it and if we just go down this way we can have a look at the bridge because I do believe the bridge is the same bridge um, that was in place when it was a rail line as well. I'm not talking about this bridge here that's just a new one for pedestrians along this bike path. So this isn't the rail line and probably never has been one. That's a tunnel that goes under the rail line. I'm assuming that's been there since the rail line was first built, or at least since it was in use at some point. If anyone wants a really quick tunneling adventure, it's probably a bit safer than your long ones. That's like a nice 20 meter trip. Um, that path goes back to the city of Ballarat, but we're not going there today. We're heading back up um, along this path. All right, so back up another incline. And so I was looking this, looking at this area on the map um, just before I came as well, trying to figure out in comparison where I was from uh, the start of the video from a couple of days ago to where it is now. And it does seem to come to an end just here, where there's a park and a couple of blocks of housing estates that's um, over where the train line used to be. So there'll be at least like almost a kilometer of track that we cannot explore. Um, a kilometer of old track that we can't explore because it's effectively inside people's houses. A bit of um, interesting visuals along the way. Is that your backyard? I don't know. Compare it to the other side of the road. 
All right, I shouldn't be filming into people's backyards, but. All right, so as we come to the end of the path here, <coughs> don't know where the track would have gone from this part onwards. Ah, uh, actually, we can even see it. That's exciting. All right. Okay, so there's a track there. And there's also a track there. So there was two lines here. Uh, it looks though as if they were just one was branching off from the other. Um, so I don't know what gauge is that? Is that broad gauge? It does look like it to me, but I don't have a measuring tape with me or anything. And that's now a caravan park. So, so you can still see within the asphalt the train line. And they both seem to be branching away from each other as they head off into that yard. So let's... Now the walking trail just goes along the side of... Um, alongside there. So I won't be able to find any more tracks along here, but we'll see where it takes us. Um, now we're at the other end of that caravan park, which seems quite busy at the moment. Um, and this is Eureka Park. So I know after this point, um, what I've checked from both the map and also previously exploring the area, there's no remnants of the train line for the next K or so. Um, <clears throat> but I might just look around this building, see if there's anything in there at all. Maybe there's something down near the building. Um, so the ground is quite low there. Let's go explore some CDC buses from Mildura. The CDC also coincidentally operate the local bus services in Ballarat as well, <coughs> and also some in Melbourne. And just from a distance, some of these little gr crates in the ground, the grates in the ground, look like rail lines. And I get a big sight of it, ends up being nothing, just being that. So, as we walk around the Eureka building, I have no idea what it's used for. I think it's a theatre or arts centre. I don't know, it's quite, quite big from the outside. I've never been inside before. There's a bit of a park here. Um, so that sort of brings us to the end. Because up there is housing, where the rail line would have been. And then we join back up where the first half of the video would have been and I've taken you to the other end there. So I hope this has been interesting. Again, if you know what this rail line was used for, please comment below. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.